And this is the spot. This is where I'm going to be tonight. Welcome to Dodger Stadium. It's my usual spot where I'm at for years. It's a good spot. Get a lot of the action. So I can see straight across the home. I can see the mound. I can have a clear view of the outfield. And for the visiting dugout, I can turn in and get what happens in here if they come in celebrating or dejected. You have the play at second base. You have the outfield. So that's my view tonight. I think it's a spot to where you can see a lot of the action. But on third base, if this is your home team, I can't see inside the dugout. So there is an advantage to be over there. I can see inside and see what Clayton Kershaw's doing and other guys. If the pitcher reacts from the home team, he's generally going to do it to the third base side. So there's pros and cons of being over here. Today's a 5.30 game, so I was here about 12, 12.30, but I get all my cameras ready, make sure they're fired, clean, set them on the uh, magic arms, get them all tightened up, they're ready to go, except for uh, one more pre-focus, just to make sure you can never have enough pre-focus to make sure they're all good to go. Test fire them. I use pocket wizards to fire my remotes. It's all the remotes. This one's mine down here for a, on the mound shot. And this one's going to home plate. This is this one down low is strictly for end of game. If they celebrate off the mound, the catcher, they come together, make a nice photo. It's set wide at around 110, so I get the stands and the whole feel of the game. This is set a little wide on home plate for a play at the plate end of game anything like that i'll fire this most of the game this is probably only fire right at the end of the game i don't think there's really one premium spot there's just different places to shoot from and i think if you know what you're doing you can move around and and, and make that happen anywhere